Omo air, the kind of messages I have been receiving in my DM concerning people that want to buy UXDT or cryptocurrency using their Naira account or using their bank account in Nigeria or in Africa. This message has become rampant message now becoming too alarming concerning this topic. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys this exact wallet that will allow you to do what? Buy UXDT or cryptocurrency or crypto assets in your wallet and if you want to withdraw, you can simply withdraw it straight to your bank account in Naira. Don't be like this, I did speak before, but why I want to speak more professional is this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, a big problem for me and a big problem for you because very soon I will not be putting this. Can, can you simply subscribe to my channel and turn on your post? I will not be putting it again. So what I'm telling you right now is to subscribe for your own good so that you guys will be guesting a variable topic and variable videos in the future so right here in the screen you guys you see that i have been using this exact wallet to transact you can actually see right here that i just withdraw 110,000 naira sold usdt received usdt withdraw and a lot of things that you can actually see here, right here going on in the account so right now let me show you guys on how you can create your own for yourself so what you are going to do right here is by using the com link in my comment section or you can simply type this name roko on google so when you're searching roko it will take you to this other place where you're going to click on roko right away so if you have play store you can simply download play store on play store or if you have iphone you can simply download roko and apple store for yourself so when you have um, come to the platform right here this is it right here what you are going to do next is to click on get started when i click on get started right now they will pop out this as a thing where they will ask me for reasoning i've already created accounts in the platform and this as roku accepts only one user but i'm going to be showing you some step if they've been able to tell me to create another one or allow me to create I'm going to complete that but if they didn't around me i'm going to show you some stuff you are going to do to be able to get your account functioning so right here i'm going to select the username i want to be answering so i'm going to simply write roku as my username and click on this and then click on continue so when i click on continue right here they will take me to this ne next step where they will ask me my phone my name so i'm going to simply put in my name my name is Chukwemeka Ogwamanam. So after putting that, I got to click on continue. They will ask me for my phone number. So I don't have the phone number I want to use right here offhand. So I'm going to go and get it right away. So when I put in my phone number, I got to click on continue. And this will actually take me to this other place where I'm going to put in my email address. So I'm going to simply put my email address. So then after that, I'm going to put in what? My password. So when I put in my password, what I'm going to do next is click on confirm. So right here, I'm going to see that I've created my account and you um, support system have actually texted me. So let me try and log into my account. I thought that the thing didn't work. So let me click on this and then log into my account using my username. I'm going to put in my password. So I'm going to click on login right here and you're going to see that they say verify it's you so i'm going to go to my email to get the code they sent to me so they have sent the code right here and i'm going to simply copy the code then come back right here to paste that code so when i paste the code i'm going to click on verify code so they will actually verify that and they will pop out this way they will say one final details i have to put in my password or port code this is a port code you have to know it if you forget it, it's on your own. So I'm going to simply put an easy port code for myself. So I use this simple code right here, which I'm going to do change of it next. So I'm going to click on confirm right here. That has actually been created. I'm going to see right here that I've actually created my account on Roku. And this is it right here. I got to click on next. When I click on next, click on next, get started. And this is it right here. So you are going to see that what you are going to see straight right here is to do what verify your identity and provide your username so i've done the username part so i'm going to verify my identity in nigeria and then they will pop out this exact badge where i got to continue with the stuff so you verifying your identity right here don't mean that you cannot do transaction where you have created your account you can do transaction but your transaction limited, it has limits, it will have limits. So then you have to verify your account 
at least for one basic one where you can actually transact up to thirty thousand dollars and many of you can transact that kind of amount so since all of us can do that let's click on get started so when you click on get started right here they will click on this they say let's get your verified uh documents verification so they say want to continue with this device or click on here to proceed so i got to click on here to proceed with that so they want me to go straight to my what my local app to be able to do that so me going straight to my local app to do that i've already have roku in my Oracle login my account so what i'm going to do is to remove that as a store from my uh i'm going to log out from the roku app so what i'm going to do is to click on this and click on this to clear my local data from this app so i have done that right here so what i'm going to do now is to click on get start proceed with this then they will actually take me to this as a place where i got to proceed with that so to proceed with this i have to log into this as a place then what i'm going to do is to put in my my account right here george the hustler then what i'm going to do next is to come over here to put in my password so after that i'm going to click on login or sign in right here they will pop out this way i got to verify the code so right here i'm going to verify the code right here three six four six four six so after verifying the code i'm into the account and you can see stella that i've actually done that get started by your journey of purchasing your first crypto so this is it right here and you have a functioning account after registering your account online so if you want to do other things like verifying your account on all that don't you mean that you cannot transact using this account but if you want to ver verify your account is to tap on your profile click on verification and limit then click on nigeria it will pop out this way it goes to verify using your document so if you click on document right here they will ask you verification details and selfie click on continue they will pop out this name click on continue they'll ask you for your bvn why asking does the verification part you put in your vp uh, v bvn and your nin and your account will be automatically verified so when you have verified that to actually buy crypto in this platform is by clicking on wallet you are going to select assets these are the place searching the hazard crypto you want to put or you can simply add them click on token this is the token part where you are going to see those accounts so you can simply tap on this to actually select all crypto will be here so i got to select this then you can put in that in your account let's search um bitcoin this is bitcoin and many assets for yourself so right now what i'm going to do next is to fund my account let me show you how to do that click on home click on deposit then put in the amount you want to deposit i want to deposit five thousand then i click on five thousand right here then they will pop out these two there is bank transfer and there is wallet pay to pay so i got to select bank transfer and this is this right here where i got to send the money i can send money to this account then co co copy the wallet and the account number and the account name is uh best m f b okay best m f b so i'm going to go down to my bank to do that so right here in my bank i got to select transfer then pop out this i got to put in the account then i got to select best star nfb so then click on next so when i click on next right here they will verify that and they will say this is the exact name we saw so i got to click on confirm and then put in the amount you want to fund i want to fund five thousand then this is the narrative where we got to copy this so this is what you are going to copy copy this right here to put as narrative and then click on proceed this will actually verify and this is it i'm going to click on verify and then send the money so right here i've actually proceed by sending the money right now what i'm going to do next is to come back right here and then click on allow click on i have paid then back so you have to start refreshing your page and instantly 
the money have been deposited in my account which you can see right here so let's buy assets with it so i'm going to come back right here to searching the assets i want to buy i want to buy uxdt do xdt this is usdt right here so what i'm going to do is to click on buy so right here i'm going to select buy and then put in five thousand then click on confirm and then click on confirm again and you guys to see right here i've instantly bought uxd so right here i got to go over to the home and you're going to see that uxd this is what i bought i have three dollars on my uxd wallet so 3.081 dollars i purchase uxd it's everybody are asking so you can also do the same to purchase other cryptocurrency so if you want to actually send that let's say you want to send that to another wallet address simply click on send then click on wallet then they will pop out this place where you are going to put in your wallet address and then select the network fee okay so this is the way this is how it will work by sending to people so also if you want to receive from other wallets you can simply click on receive they will ask you bep smart chain or tron you can simply select tron or bep so i got to generate my wallet so i've generated the wallet right here this is the wallet copy the wallet and give it to your friend or the place you want to withdraw and you can simply make your withdrawal that's the same thing with the bep20 so if you want to also sell let's say you want to sell to withdraw to your bank account this is interesting so when you have received the phone you can simply click on sell and then come here to select how much you want to sell let me say i want to sell um three thousand i want to say three thousand confirm then right here i got to click on confirm suit so if i go back to this place you're going to see that i've withdrawn three thousand to send it to my bank i can simply click on withdraw and then put in the amount i want to withdraw click on confirm and this is the place it becomes interesting so right here is you can either put in your bank put in the native bank you are using like money points uh uba open is not working i will be sincere with you but money points is working all these first bank uh is net bank uh other banks is, is working but pampe and op is not working but you can simply try it. let me also try whether it will actually work right here so if i put in op let me know whether it will work i'm trying to know whether it will work now one five seven okay click on confirm click on proceed see what i'm talking so let me just try to refresh the app again let's go back to check whether the op will work so if i put in again let's go straight to this place if i click on this place i can click on payment method let me just try and add it from here to know whether it will work op then click on confirm click on proceed it's not actually working but they are sending me code i don't know whether it's my app but so far you have other banks like money points you can simply do that by using that native bank or you can simply use raven bank this is raven bank if you have raven bank or you can simply create that if you want me to also do video about how to create raven bank i can do that but to do that is click on raven and then put in the account you want to withdraw from so i got to put in this then select the bank this is the bank click on proceed you can see right here then i got to put in the the account my my accounts uh a password so you guys you see right here that it successfully went through so this is it and it successfully went through so if you wait a few minutes you guys you see we are successful and right here you guys you see the money i've transferred to my bank account this is roku and reverend bank so if you want to be withdrawing using reverend bank this is it to create reverend bank is very easy like the way you create op go to a uh, um, uh, play store to download reverend bank and create bank there and start using using it so this is the way the platform looks like and how you can simply do what create account in nigeria to buy uxdt or cryptocurrency or crypto assets you can also if you are from ghana um, Af um south africa and school you can also create local account to be able to start transacting for yourself and that's it for today's video i believe it is all worth for you and you'll learn something from here if you really don't hesitate to like this video comment what you think and don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
for more videos like this in the future and right away we have hit 10k subscriber who is winning my 50k giveaway